the fall of 1990, I was a brand new homeschooling mama with children in first, fourth, and sixth grades. I had absolutely no one to help me figure out what to do. I had one friend who taught her son in the summer the grade ahead before he attended that grade in public school, poor kid. But she offered to loan me six years worth of complete curriculum. This was quite a bundle of books and it felt like a tremendous responsibility. We started having school from 8.30 to 2.30 with a recess period and a lunch break, except on Thursday when we went to a co-op for PE and art in the afternoon. I had my bulletin board, my flag for the Pledge of Allegiance, and a nice schedule. I could confidently, and pridefully, I hate to admit, tell anyone our impressive homeschool schedule. Right away, I saw that my first, fourth, and sixth graders didn't necessarily fit into the first, fourth, and sixth grade textbooks in each subject. I also noticed that in science in particular, books for different grades studied the same things but at different times. I started moving chapters around. The next year, we bought a wonderful unit study. We loved it, but it required loads of preparation by me, the teacher. I had tried two extremes, heavy textbooks and heavy unit study. Whew, I was exhausted. I'm embarrassed to tell you what happened next. We gave up, we quit. We put the kids in a Christian school and I went to work part-time to help pay for it. My husband Ray took on a part-time job too, in addition to his full-time job. It took a full-time job and two part-time jobs to pay the tuition. After that year, we tried a year of public school. Neither of those worked well for our family either. When I look back on that time, I wish I had someone who would come alongside of me and help me think through what we were doing. I wanted so desperately to homeschool, I simply didn't know how. I know though that going through what we went through has helped me become who I am today. I am passionate about helping other mothers. I needed to go through hard times really to understand what other mamas go through. Two years after giving up on homeschooling, we decided to homeschool again, but in a completely new way. We gave up the box curriculum idea. We gave up the mama intensive unit study idea. We gave up trying to recreate a public school at home. We exchanged those ideas for these. We are going to homeschool. We are going to relax. We are going to put first things first. My husband and I committed ourselves to this motto for our homeschool and for our family. We believe that we should spend our lives praying for and pursuing our goal, that we, our children and their spouses, our grandchildren and their spouses, and every succeeding generation live as Christians on earth and live forever in heaven with our God and with each other. We want to spend our lives working diligently for the realization of this goal with all the strength He gives us. Our new way of homeschooling was to embrace a learning lifestyle that suited us as a family and our children as individuals. We used some textbooks. We learned history through great books and travel and the wonderful resource of my history breathing husband. We traveled on a tight budget. We explored God's creation. We took art lessons together. Our children volunteered. They read lots of great literature and we read many books aloud as a family. Our children studied some subjects individually and many subjects together. We gave our children opportunities to pursue their own interests. The children wrote and performed their own plays. We met our state's high school graduation requirements, but our school didn't look like the public schools, Christian school, or home school we had experienced before. In 1999, after our oldest two children had graduated from homeschool, we decided to start a homeschool curriculum company. We examined the experiences of our own homeschooling journey, and now we produce for others what we know can help them be successful homeschooling families. Not after they've gone through what we went through, but successful from the start. 
Knotgrass History Packages are ideal for families who are beginning their first year of homeschooling with children in any grade from fifth through high school. One problem many families fall into their first year is trying to complete too much curriculum and too many subjects. I know I've done that. All Knotgrass History curriculum teaches from a Christian worldview and all combines multiple subjects. This simplifies teaching for parents and enhances learning for the student because these subjects are interrelated in such a way that they give students a particularly rich learning experience. And our curriculum is not mama intensive like that wonderful unit study I tried before. The only things parents have to pull together are paper, pencils, a notebook, and some project supplies if they choose to do the project activities. These are the subjects covered in Knotgrass History for grades 5, 6, 7, or 8. From Adam to Us combines world history, Bible, geography, literature, vocabulary, creative writing, and art activities. America the Beautiful combines American history, Bible, geography, literature, vocabulary, creative writing, and art activities. Uncle Sam and You combines civics and citizenship, Bible, literature, vocabulary, creative writing, and art activities. The only other curriculum students in grades 5, 6, 7, or 8 need are math and science, and perhaps some grammar. Students using Knotgrass History in high school earn credit in the following subjects. Exploring World History, one year of high school credit each in World History, Bible, and English. Exploring America, one year of high school credit each in American History, Bible, and English. Exploring Economics, one half year of high school credit in Economics and one half year in English. Exploring Government, one half year of high school credit in American Government and a half credit of English. If families have more than one student in grades five through eight, they can study Knotgrass Middle School History together. If families have more than one student in high school, those students can study Knotgrass History curriculum together. Knotgrass History does not publish cumbersome teacher's manuals because everything a student needs to know to complete a course is clearly explained right in the text. To use Knotgrass History, a parent simply needs to read the short and simple parent material included in the student packages before the first day of the school year so they can help their student know how to get started. Parents need to grade their students' assignments. Some parents choose to have their children use Knotgrass History independently, while others decide to study the material along with their students. Either way they choose, parents and students find the courses very simple to use. At Knotgrass History, we want to help you succeed in homeschooling. We believe in what you're doing. We know it's a big commitment and we want to support you. We design our curriculum to be easy for parents and students while providing a rich learning experience. Please check out our website for more information and get in touch with us if you have any questions or if there's any way we can help. Homeschooling is worth it and we're behind you all the way. Thank you.